Hey, good morning, girls. Happy Tuesday. I'm going to try not to wiggle as much out here. It's funny, it's just the table out here is not very um, stable. So, good morning. Glad you came out today. Another great topic for this morning. And again, we're trying to format morning minutes and keep it at about 15 minutes, if that. Um, that way you can get about your day and, and uh, still have a little bit of nourishment in the morning. And I do apologize with the noise in the, the yard. The chickens are getting big enough out here that they're fluttering and they're flying around. And Dante, of course, is acting crazy with them. So today, we are going to be talking about quiet time and hearing God and seeing God when it's quiet. Good morning, Bev. The problem that we have in our world today is it is so noisy and loud. Now, I know I come out here and I'm surrounded with absolutely gorgeous wooded areas. Um, they're gorgeous now because the leaves are back on the trees. Uh, during the winter time, all we have is the pine trees have their green, but the hardwoods have lost the leaves. So kind of not as pretty, but it's still gorgeous out here. But so many people just are in constant noisy surroundings. Their world is loud. It's cluttered. There's so much static going on in it whether it comes from the noise of people or it's the noise of your mobile devices your television your radio your ipad whatever your tool is that is causing the noise and we don't know what to do when we need to quiet down and because we live in this noisy world and the problem is it's been it's normal and acceptable and we're missing the blessing of that quiet time in our life there is nothing more refreshing than if we stop and just listen quietly to nothing but maybe the breeze and the trees the birds chirping the frogs in the pond whatever it might be but just listen quietly See, and the problem is not only do we have all this external noise happening in our life that is a distraction from what we're supposed to be doing, we also have our minds that are noisy and loud. How many times have you sat down, girls, and just tried to be quiet and just stare at a tree and, and have nothing in your head? It's hard to do. Because, see, what happens is that we stop and we try to pause and in the back of our head as we're reading the word or as we're worshiping or praying it's like okay so what's for dinner what time do I have to pick the kids up did I feed the dogs did I water the flowers all of this chatter you know what am I missing this week what did not get done and what happens is we tend to become so frustrated that that time that we would be spending quiet with God now has just turned into more noise. We're going to look at scripture today, and we're in Ephesians chapter, where am I at? Chapter, whoops, wrong one. Sorry. First Peter. I know you don't think, what does that Ephesians have to do with noise? Uh, First Peter chapter 3 and verse three, 4. So again, First Peter 3, verse 4 it says here rather let it be hidden rather let it be the hidden person of the heart with the incorruptible beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit which is very precious in the sight of God you know when we talk about a gentle and quiet spirit that comes from that time that we just tune out everything that we actually find the time where our life isn't so noisy. And I really want you to look at your life today because what we know for a fact is those times that were quiet, those times that were not noisy in our head, we're not noisy with the stuff around us, that what we actually find is God speaks loudly to us during those times. And see, God speaks loudly all the time to us. However, because of all the noise, we're missing it. 
You know, we know one of the the fruits of the Spirit is, is gentleness, kindness. And we look at all of that, and that all comes around just that being quiet and tuning everything down. So seriously, when you sit there, and if you sat there this morning looking for your quiet time with God, what happened in your head? Was your head and your mind just wondering what was next, what was next? Or you sat during a church service and your mind is saying, what time does he wrap up? What time is lunch? Where are we going for lunch? Did I get the laundry done? Did I close the garage door? I mean, our brains are not stopping. Does your life feel noisy? Cluttered? Do you find it impossible to just stop and focus solely on what God might be telling you? Does it feel uncomfortable to you when you stop and when it's quiet? See, that's another issue that we have. Not only does the noise around us, we've got the noise in our head because we can't shut stuff off. And then when we finally get to that point where we've got quiet around us and we've got the quiet in our head that we turn around and now we're uncomfortable. We feel like something's wrong. That's the time that girls, we need to really press into God because it has that precious moment where God is going to speak to you louder than ever. And there's been times, girls, that I've sat there in all of that quietness that I've been able to bring to my life at that point. And it's almost like God is sitting right there next to you, speaking to you. And you're like, whoa, who's here? But see, with all the noise in our life, through our devices and through people and through busyness, we cannot find that quiet place for God to speak to us. Are you missing the voice of God in your life? Are you so busy that you're not stopping and shutting off the cares of the world? Shutting off your phone? Do you really need to be on Facebook 24-7 responding to everybody's feeds? No, we don't. And what I think about is we go back to times when life was simpler. I know growing up, we didn't have all of these electronic devices. We had the TV. I don't even think we had um, cable and satellite till probably junior high. But we didn't have these attachments. And yes, for those of you that are younger watching this, our phones were on the wall and they dialed. You had to do rotary phones where you had to know the number. It wasn't pre-programmed in your phone. Our cell phones. When I was a kid, we didn't have cell phones. These those things were these monster things. And if you want to see what they look like, watch some of the older movies from the 70s. But the whole thing was, that was a time, ladies, that we could find that quiet time. That was a time in our life where there wasn't so much static noise. And I really believe that man is working to kill himself off because we keep creating the stuff that might be ingenious in the moment. But if we look at it, what is it taking away from? If most of us, if we were told we couldn't have our phones, we couldn't have computers, there was no TV, you wouldn't know what to do with yourself. But see, some of us grew up in a time where we didn't have all of that stuff. And life was good. Life was simple. And we had that time to find the quiet. We had that time to shut our minds off and think about life and what was going on. But I ask you today, and your challenge for today, is your life noisy? Is there so much static noise and just distractions in your life 
that you feel like everything is shaking like this all the time. Instead of having that time where you just sit and pause and you listen to what God's telling you, whether it's because you picked up your Bible and you've read something and God speaks to you so clearly in it, or whether it's the small voice that he places in your heart. Once you have that, ladies, you actually desire more of it. Do you really think it's impossible to find that quiet time? Do you think it's impossible to shut off the noise and the frustration? I want to challenge you today that you find some point of your day today and you disconnect. You stop listening to the noise. You turn your phone off or turn it to silent. You turn off the radio, you turn off the TV. You walk away from the noise and spend a few minutes today just seeking God and asking Him what does he have for you today? And I pray that if you become uncomfortable with that quiet time by removing the chatter and the chaos, that you don't quit. You press into what God has. Because silence can be uncomfortable. But silence can also be one of the most amazing experiences you will have because see God speaks clearly when we don't have the noise once again first Peter chapter 3 verse 4 rather let it be hidden be the hidden person of the heart with the incorruptible beauty of a quiet and gentle spirit which is very precious in the sight of the God, sight of God. So, is your spirit quiet and gentle? Or is there so much static that your spirit is being quenched? Heavenly Father, I just lift these ladies up to you today, and I pray, Lord, if their life is noisy, and there's so much static and so much chaos going on in their life, Father, that you will start showing them how to tune it out that you will give them those moments of silence with just you. That, Father, if they feel uncomfortable or awkward in silence, that you will show them your peace. That they will now start to just desire and thrive on that silence and that quiet time with you. Thank you, Lord, for every moment you give us that we can disconnect from the static and just enjoy the peace and quiet in your spirit with us. In Jesus' name. All right, girls. Challenge for today is does your life feel noisy? Do you find it impossible to find quiet? Whether it's from all of your devices or it's just the noise in your head? And does quiet feel uncomfortable to you? Those are your questions for today. And go and seek God today. But trust me, if you try to sit down quietly and disconnect from the noise. You're going to want more of that. And that is the most precious time that God speaks to you is through that quiet time. I'll tell you this when I'm able to come out here because the temperature allows. I don't want to go back into the noise. There is a peace and a calm and a renewal in that quiet with Jesus Christ. So I hope that inspires you. I hope that's a great challenge for you because ladies, we live in such a noisy world today. We have so much noise that the enemy is putting in front of us that we are tuned out to what God is telling us. And you know that's his mission. is to get you so distracted 
and so tuned out from the power that God has for you. Because remember, the same power that rose Jesus from the grave lives in us through the Holy Spirit. And yet, we don't do anything with it. So there's your challenge today. Find your quiet. Shut off your devices. Shut off the chatter in your head. And focus on what God has to say to you. And if you can't seem to shut off that chatter in your head, cry out to God. He will help you. He will turn it off for you. But you have to ask Him. Alright girls, hope you have a blessed day. Enjoy your day. Enjoy the lovely cool weather if you're out here on the east coast it's rainy and stormy all week but it's still gorgeous mornings out here all right love you girls catch you tomorrow bye bye